So the Musidora Stakes is next. This is a three-year-old race for fillies and mares over ten furlongs. It's a trial for the Oaks next week. And if we're running the Musidora, I don't see why we're letting fillies in the Dunty, but uh, that might explain why we've got such a small field for this. That's something that might need to be looked at for next season. Colts in the Dunty, fillies in the Musidora. And let's take a look at the small field. Disco ticket for Ryan Tamasebi at the top. France Nightingale for Paul Rhodes, Golden Encore for Craig Allen, Golden Sands for Leon Van Rensburg, McGall for Darren Thompson, Shimmerlight Jim Murray and Zagalini's Baldini for Dan Hughes. So are we going to get an Oaks winner out of this one? We'll soon see, they're all in. And away they go. And McGall is going to be the first one to show I think with Disco Ticket on the near side got the row also making a forward move looking like it wants to leave Shimmerlight and Shimmerlight it looks like it's going to be a Jim Murray front runner but McGall has got nothing to us well, has got something to say about that and has now gone back on again so it's a it's a length lead for McGall Shimmerlight is in second does not quite get tactical this one as they're shuffling around for position golden in encore he's going one up the center of the track also golden sands is well placed as well florence nightingale is going to be struggling for room and might have to pull wide but it's golden encore has got the lead from mcgull in second then comes golden sands shimmer light after that one disco ticket zagalini's baldini he's nicely placed and the back mark of florence nightingale is going to have to pass them all but it's golden encore has got the lead now as they come down towards the midway point golden on the six furlong mark it's golden encore Core in the lead, McGon is in second, then Golden Sands is in third, then three in a line, Disco Ticket, Shimmerlight and Zagalini's Baldini, Florence Nightingale now being pulled round the outside to make a challenge, but it's Golden Encore in front, Golden Encore past the five furlong pole with a two length lead. From McGull in second, who's three clear of the remainder. Zagalini's Baldini moves into third. Golden Sands on the outside. Disco ticket on the near side. Shimmerlight is next. Florence Nightingale has now got clear room and he's going to run up the outside of the track. But it's Golden Encore who's still clear by two. From in second place, McGull. Zagalini's Baldini now gets into overdrive. Golden Sands is after that one then. Disco ticket, Shimmerlight. Florence Nightingale making a move as well. But it's Golden Encore still in the lead. Zagalini's Baldini though is really making ground up the center of the track in second. McGall's back in third, then Golden Sands, Front Nightingale is getting moving as well. Disco Ticket and Shimmerlight with work to do, but Golden Encore still in front with a furlong and a half to go. Zagalini's Baldini's getting closer slowly. It's Golden Encore from Zagalini's Baldini. Florence Nightingale moves into third. Golden Encore trying to hold on. Zagalini's Baldini trying to close it. Still Golden Encore and she's not stopping. Golden Encore, here comes Florence Nightingale. Golden Encore, look, she's not going to hold on and take it. Flying at the death was Florence Nightingale, but Golden Encore took it. Florence Nightingale was second but you'd fancy that one to turn the tables over two furlongs further the way it finished golden on court coming to the end of its tether maybe yeah, that one could be off to the pre de with florence nightingale going to epsom but golden on court takes it